Alrighty guys, thank you for being here. I am posting a longer video today to reveal the cards of the image poll that I had posted in my community posts the other day. So this will be card one, card two, and card three in the reveal. So let's get started. So the energy of this cards, these cards is indicating the energy most prominent to you, for you, or with you at this time of the full moon and the lunar eclipse that peaked last night on October 28th, 2023. And I will begin with card number one. Number one, the shapeshifter, transformation, primal wisdom, and instinct. This card indicates that you are able to change, my friend, all the things that have stirred within you, things that you have not even dared to whisper aloud, should soon become clear to others because you are transforming. You can do what you think is unlike you. You have told yourself again and again who you are, and many a time you have merely gone ahead with what feels comfortable for you without daring yourself to truly be who you are. This message is for you to get ready to change. Get ready to be amazed at just what you can do when you give yourself a chance at what you can become when you receive the same opportunities as others, but most importantly, what you can achieve when you dare yourself to go further. Do not deny yourself this chance to develop and grow. You are so many creatures, so many beings. Now it is time to explore that which once frightened you and which will ultimately become one of your greatest adventures yet. Card number two is the blood month, card number 21. Sacrifice, offerings, and decisions. There's a time for all of us to gather the harvest. In order to do so in the fields, the heads of grain must fall. In our own lives, we must similarly be ready to let go and offer up something of value in order to make room for the greater good that can then flow into our lives, into our very souls. When we sacrifice, we make something sacred by the very act of giving it up. It is no sacrifice to make an offering that has no value, no meaning to us. And so at this time, you are being asked to give, contribute, and offer up something valuable to you in order to receive in return. What you give must be significant, as there must be energetic room created in order for significant blessing to flow through to you in return. These sacrifices do not always come in the form of the material. It is not always a thing that we offer or let go of. It can be our pride, our judgment, our human conceits, our petty quarrels and disputes, all of which fill our days with distractions that serve no one. With this card comes the need to make a deep and earnest decision to give up something that we have held dear, even components of our constructed human personality. To give them up to, to feed the hungry beings of blood month, who although terrifying to gaze upon, will clear us and free us in so many ways. From the offerings you make, the future is born. Now is the time to make this sacred offering. Oh, hello, Bella. Card number three is Elf Struck, 18 in the deck, enchanted, beguiled, and enspelled. You are dazzled, amazed, astounded at present, your head a whirl with otherworldly visions and thoughts. You may be a little obsessive and unable to balance at present. It is all or nothing, and the momentum is exhilarating and intoxicating. You have given your all to your new passion. You have discovered that you truly do have the power to create what you want and need in your life. So please take time out to contemplate just how these miracles have come about, the coincidences and connections that have brought you to this place. There is so much to be considered, to think about, and the thoughts you have at this time are so intense and fully flavored that they are creating the next steps in your life, drawing them to you, weaving and creating your future. Do not allow your current state of enchantment to be sabotaged or hijacked for other purposes than your own, which must be for the highest good. Soon the intensity will ease, balance shall make a return, and life will take on something like normality again. But now, having tasted magic, you can never return to how you once were. You are forever changed, my friend. 